Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Teresa from Tedswick Emporium. If you've missed me last weekend, that is because I've been traveling, visiting my family and friends back in Poland, and I didn't get a chance to do a wig review over there as I was hoping for. So out of three different styles I took with me, this is the one I ended up wearing non-stop. This is called um, Anya from a relatively new company called Herweld. This color is Candy Blonde Rooted. So Anya here is a second style I've tried from Herweld and I must tell you guys this is a really good quality wig for a company that new. This is the packaging that Anya and also Chelsea came in. It's plain, it's simple, you are not paying for the packaging. All of the quality and resources are invested into the wigs. So Anya here is about one week old. I've been wearing her pretty much every single day when I was on holiday and I just can't get enough of it. I really love this beautiful polka straight style. She's heavily layered, especially here around the front. She comes with bangs full monofilament top, lace front, and an average um, open wefted cap design. Now, what I do love about it is that she's really low density here on the sides. It, she doesn't make it um, look like a, a helmet here at the front. She's not particularly low density piece, uh, weighing 5.3 ounces, so there's definitely quite a lot of hair in the style, but most of that density is um, created here at the back. Very nice density on the sides, so you can tuck it behind your ear and it looks super natural. Let me guys give you a spin before we give you the measurements. So here is the front. Here's my right hand side. And the left. We are getting bangs here guys, which I have just brushed to the side. And I've actually managed to achieve like a little lift here at the front so you don't even need to have the bangs at all they quite easily stay away from your face no problem so we are getting 3.75 inches in the fringe from crown she measures 11 and a half inches signs measure 12 and 75 nape measures 12 75 12 and three quarters overall giving you a 20 inches long piece but because we are getting those layers here at the front she doesn't particularly feel like she's too long for my age definitely feel very youthful she feels very light she's got a great movement and i love those choppy razored ends at the bottom. She's just gorgeous. I love the poker straight hair. She's also really light here at the top as well where the monofilament um, area is in the lace front. I don't feel like you have to really squash this parting just to expose that really natural looking scalp. It looks very, very believable. Let me come closer and show you that beautiful lace. How natural that parting looks like. And of course you can change it according to your preference. You can style it to the left. in the center, especially if you want to cut those bangs a little shorter. Let me show you that lace front. 
And just like the other star I tried before called Chelsea, this lace front is beautiful. The knots are super fine, they are tiny, they are not visible at all. I think this is a really good quality wig. Definitely not afraid of wearing it away from my face. Now the only thing I have noticed is a little bit of a noticeable transition from the lace. It seems to be mainly on this side, which is unfortunate because this is the side I normally expose the most, because those fibers are really, really fine. Sometimes you do find the coverage is slightly more um, difficult to achieve with such a fine synthetic fibers. Now the ear tabs fall just about right, maybe a tad too long on me, um, but I can always give them a little bit of a snip if I want to, or just push them back, just to get slightly higher position. Now, as you notice, guys, this side is absolutely fine, no problems there. And this is where the coverage is. It does sit a little bit on the back of my ear for a petite um, average size. So it is true to average, I would say. Not particularly roomy at the back but the actual cap itself is um, qu comes down quite far. So definitely really nice and comfortable. And with being so nice and low density here on the sides, it doesn't make you feel too warm. The other great thing I love about Anya is that she hasn't got any permities in the cap at all. Because this style is meant to be so sleek and close to your head, there's no scratchiness, no um, pillowy feeling at the back. She is just gorgeous, guys. This is standard synthetic. When I first got her a week ago, the um, fibers were really, really silky. They were really soft, they are super fine. And you occasionally can see the odd flyer, which in a way it does make it look even more believable. However, after wearing her now for over a week, I do notice some tangling. This is quite common when the fibers are so um, fine, especially with a longer wig. So um, definitely needs some combing throughout the day, but it's not too bad, to be honest with you. I can still run my fingers through those fibers. They're still really nice. Most of the tangling happens mainly here at the nape, which is quite common for a wig of that length. I do like that movement as well. So before I show you the cap construction, guys, let me quickly talk to you about this color, Candy Blonde Rooted. This is basically your lightest brown. It's very neutral to warm in nature, heavily highlighted with Platinum Blonde. Now the brown ends about two to three inches from the bottom, allowing the rest of that platinum come through to the tips, giving you that beautiful contrast between the rest of the hair and the tips. So if you want to try Platinum Blonde by you, I'm not um, quite ready for that yet. This is a really pretty color to try because you're still getting a neutral to warm brown, light brown slash dark blonde, then it's heavily highlighted with that platinum. We are also getting some rooting, a light brown root, and it's probably more visible in the light here as opposed to outside because it does transition beautifully into the rest 
of that blend. It's super natural, it is hardly noticeable. I absolutely love this color. It's very similar to Ellen Villa Candy Blonde Rooted as well, but I feel like it's maybe slightly less reddish compared with Candy Blonde Rooted by Ellen Villa, just to give you an idea. Okay, guys, let's have a look inside the cup now. We are getting temple to temple lace front, full hand tight monofilament top, allowing you to part your hair anywhere in this section here. Open wefted cup, soft velvet lined ear tabs with the metal piece in there as well, but also a poly strip at the end of the ear tab so you can um, attach tape or adhesive if you haven't got any hair at the temples. It can be removed quite easily just using um, a pick that can be taken off if you do not wish to have it there, but it does not make it bulky. It's um, a very fine, thin strip of poly material. We are also getting an extended velvet nape with velcro type adjusters, which you can see I have tightened just a bit for my 21 and a half inches circumference. Open wefts without any permatease, which is great, but there is quite a lot of stretch as well, so that will fit Quite a Let me range. show you some styling options for Anya because this is a long hair. There is definitely quite a lot of options. This is what the ponytail looks like. I love it. Half up, half down. Let's use a claw clip. I really like this style for this particular color because it really makes those platinum pieces pop. You can definitely wear a headband. Of course, don't forget, you can trim the bangs and wear them brushed to the front as a fringe. If you have a slightly higher forehead, you might not need to trim them at all. If you want to check out this style or any of the styles by Hair World, I will leave all of the description below and the place where you can buy it from and a discount you can use to save 15% off. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next time.